Now, let me start off by saying that all pets are natural descendants of our most famous celebrities. Stay with me. Okay, think of this, a cat, right? A small cat or a newborn is called a, a kitty, right? You've heard it before here, kitty kitty. If you do the research and look at ancient African hieroglyphics, the K in kitty was always silent. It isn't pronounced kitty, it's pronounced itty. The word itty is derived from an Antarctic and submarine language that has a faster pace when you speak it. Now let's say it together. Itty, 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 diddy. Now let's go a step further. Separate the sounds. Diddy, diddy, d, 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 d. The acronym for DD is Damn Daniel, which is code name for White Vans. Now, I don't know about you, but the last time I remember a white man traveling around Vans that owned a kitten was named John F. Kennedy. The Kennedy assassination is a setup. Look it up. Now, let's get on Lizzo for a second. The word Lizzo is actually an acronym from the Atlantic Sea people who existed 1.5 million BC years ago. Lizzo, L-I-Z-Z-O, which translates to look in, zap zap, oh my god. Now zap zap was a phrase that was used to describe lightning. Lightning connects to the Greek god Zeus, we know this. Zeus is now a modern TV network with a show called Crazy Love, which features Blueface Baby, which leads us to Crazy In Love from Beyonce. Jay-Z plus Beyonce equals Blue IV, and a Blue IV is actually to treat a condition called methemoglobinemia, yep. which means that blood cannot deliver oxygen, which means you forfeit oxygen. UFOs exist. Let's talk about Nick Cannon. Now there is no surprise that he has now fathered 12 children. And according to Inside Resources, he has three on the way. They coming, we don't know when, but they coming. Now, how does this relate to the solar system? Let me explain. Now in 2023 BC, there were ancient markings found on the stone. Now in 2001, Leonardo DiCaprio's cousin, Leo Da Vinci, actually deciphered what was written. Hence the cover up movie, The Da Vinci Code. It's all linked. Now Da Vinci is actually the derivative of Rihanna's brand, Fenty. Now if you throw an accent on it, it'll start to make sense. Let's try. Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Fenty, Fenty, Fenty. You get what I'm saying now, right? Now Da Vinci, now Da Vinci actually means designer, which brings us back to the deciphered prophecy that was written in 2023 BC. Leo Da Vinci, Da Vinci Lee, and young Leo actually deciphered the stone to say, Nick Cannon got a lot of fuck kids. Let's look. Mass, right? In 95, in 1995, who was born? Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion, MTS. In ancient African Roman numerals, MTS stands for a certain year. Do you know what year that is? 2023. You can look it up. This is all Googleable. 2023 in future ancient American Greek language, 2023 translates to D-R-A-K-E. You can look this up right now. If you flip that word upside down and put it into Photoshop, bring up that contrast north of 95 degrees in 95, guess what you get? The earth is flat. Okay now, UFOs. You seen what's been going on. I tell you what, you got a birthday this weekend, you better watch out. Cause if little Ray Ray balloon drift off into the air, the government shooting that bitch down. And that leads us to the movie, Nope. You remember, UFO popped in the air. It's in our face. Look, Nope, N-O-P-E. Not a planet Earth, we know this. But if we focus on the stars, like Kiki Palmer, let's break it down. To Kiki is to have a little laugh with your little friends. Palmer means pilgrim, look it up. And if we break it down a little bit, pilgrim, peel, and gram is something that you get from the plug. Here we go. A plug connects into a socket. Socket rhymes with bop it. Bop it leads us to rocket. And a rocket takes off into the clouds leaving chemtrails. And whose agenda is this? The government. Now let's go with Nike, right? Nike sounds a lot like high key, as in like high key, as in you high key about to piss me off. But we're not going that route. Let's bring it back. High key as in a tall door. To put the key in real high, that means that's a high key, right? So now we're talking about a mansion. Mansion was a Greek Arabian term for man back in the 1900 uh, million BC. BC as in before Chris Brown, which is also known as BCB. Stay with me. Mansions back then had a high keyhole. People couldn't reach it and get into their home, so they were a high key pissed off and they didn't have toilets, which means that they were pissing off of their their balcony and the pissing off of the balcony would ultimately land on people's head is disgusting but this all leads me to R. Kelly 
Now let's talk about good old Barney. Now I apologize in advance for ruining our childhood. Did you know that Barney actually means a bad argument? Look it up. Google it after this podcast. I'm sure you remember. I love you, you love me. Having a Barney actually means I hate you, this is war. And who was on Barney as a kid? Selena Gomez. I'm hype. And what does Gomez mean in English? It means man. As in man ain't this some shit. Look it up. If Barney means an argument, which is sometimes violent, and he's a dinosaur, you sprinkle in Selena Gomez and a bunch of other kids from other races. It can only mean one thing. There's one dinosaur still out there. Godzilla is real case calls. Now let's talk about Avatar. Some say it's a movie. I know exactly what it is. Let's start off simple. First, let's reverse the lettering. So when you flip it around, instead of Avatar, it's now Ratava. Where's the last time we heard Ratava? Some may say it sounds more of an, an ancient Asian accent for whatever, but it's not racist, stay with me. Now, Ratava is short for an Indian movie that came out in 2015 called Rathavara. I think that's how you say it. That part's true, look it up. Now take the main character, Ratha, in that movie. Ratha sounds a lot like Rasta, AKA, Rastafarian. Now question, anybody notice in the first movie that the main character had white people hair? And in the second movie, all of a sudden, he got dreadlocks? Where they do to that? It's all there. This is straight facts. Let's go a step further. The original movie came out in 2009. This new movie was supposed to come out in 2020. If you add all of those numbers up without the zeros, that's two plus two plus two plus nine, that equals 15. You reverse that, that's 50. One. It's clear as day if you choose to see it. Avatar is a clear replication of what really happened in Area 51. Did you know the conspiracy of Uber? Here we go. Uber was founded in 2009. In 2009, Barack Obama became president and Michael Jackson died. Now listen, Michael Jackson backwards is Jackson Michael. Two players on Mortal Kombat is Jax and Michael Myers. Michael Myers gets confused with Jason Voorhees at least for me. Which leads us to Friday the 13th, which is on a Friday. This is some sick stuff. 13 plus six equals 19, which means COVID-19 was for population control. And that leads me to Netflix. Super simple, Netflix. Now, flicks on the net means something a little different, but we gonna, we gonna get back to that. Now, let's break it down. If you look up the definition of net, it means free of all charges. Flix means film, which all means free movies, but Netflix be taxing, so we already know that's a lie, conspiracy. But if we choose to look closer, especially at the word net, which rhymes with bet, as in I bet. Listen, some people say bet it up, which leads us to Betty, which leads to the mastermind behind this whole thing. Betty White, rest in peace Betty, but we know what's going on. Now when you think of Betty, what you think of? Golden Girls. When you think of Golden Girls, what you think of? Gold. Now listen, gold equals cash money, as in cash money records taking over for the 99 and the 2000. And that leads me to Netflix. Super simple. Netflix. Now, flicks on the net means something a little different, but we're gonna, we gonna get back to that. Now, let's break it down. If you look up the definition of net, it means free of all charges. Flicks means film, which all means free movies, but Netflix be taxing, so we already know that's a lie, conspiracy. But if we choose to look closer, especially at the word net, which rhymes with bet, as in I bet. Listen, some people say bet it up, which leads us to Betty, which leads to the mastermind behind this whole thing. Betty White, rest in peace Betty, but we know what's going on. Now when you think of Betty, what you think of? Golden Girls. When you think of Golden Girls, what you think of? Gold. Now listen, gold equals cash money, as in cash money records taking over for the 99 and the 2000. All right, damn some injuries, as in damn son, where'd you find this? Lori Harvey's new boo, we know that. Let's dive deeper. Damson was born on September 2nd, 1991. Nine and two ones is nine eleven. We could go there, but I don't want to lose you, so stay with me. In 1991, the first ever website was created. Look it up. Basically, the introduction to the World Wide Web, which is the term for www.com, or translated to www, which leads us to WWE, which connects to Georgia B, and Auntie is double the T, which leads me to A, B, C, D, F, G. Jesus is coming back.